Have you ever had your world turned upside down in an instant? Or struggled to realign with a big change in your life? Or wish that some aspect of your life would shift? Being in a physical form means that we are constantly invited to adjust to change. Whether that change is joyous or frightening. From our first lost tooth to our first heartbreak. From a child's graduation to the loss of a friend. From starting a new job to adjusting to a chronic illness. Life continues to flow and sometimes gently, sometimes abruptly alter the landscapes of our being. How we adapt to the changes in our lives can mean the difference between being in struggle and fear or in sweet ease and faith. The simple truth is that when you fight change, you suffer. And when you embrace change, you open to creativity, possibility, and healing. Change is inevitable, but transformation is by cautious choice. While we do not always have control over how or when the change will occur in our lives, we can choose how we act in relation to those changes. When you step towards rather than ignore, fight or resist change, you reclaim your personal freedom. You step onto a path of transformation and move from being a victim of change to being a co-creator with change. I can think of no more important change, and this is a change in perspective, which that is when you embrace change, when you seek to be a co-creator with those circumstances in your life, rather than see yourself as a victim. But when you shift your perspective from the physical and enter into the world of the spirit, which Jesus the Christ spoke of as the kingdom within, that kingdom of cautiousness, we see the world from the perspective of spirit, the illusions of the world, the changes of the world, or what the Hindus called samsara, all that can be penetrated, meaning the illusions can be seen through when we live more in the spirit, which is part of the process of enlightenment, of integration. When you integrate your spirit into the physical, when you see things from the perspective of the spirit, the illusion, the samsara of the matrix, it dissolves. And it's only perpetuated through our anxiety, our reaction to change, those negative reactions to the illusion is what perpetuates the matrix. And there's been a lot of help with perpetuation of the matrix through the Anunnaki frequency fence and through lifestyle choices of the digital matrix that's promoted by the AI hive mind of consumerism to be a consumer, to be trapped within the physical. But as one understands at a deeper and deeper level, the underlying spiritual reality of stillness, of seeking within through meditation, through the baptismal sacrament, which has nothing to do with water. It has everything to do with meditation. The more one understands at a deeper and deeper level, the underlying spiritual reality of stillness, being this eye within the storm, the more one can manipulate the reality illusion to obtain the abilities of the spirit. 
very similar to the concept underlying the matrix movies and when you fully understand the underlying reality of spirit you can do things in what most people call reality which would seem impossible without that deeper understanding when you live in your god mind versus the ego mind because it's only from the perspective of the ego that these changes in reality these superhuman abilities that manifest as miracles from those who live in spirit who have transcended their egos that's what appears to be miraculous to those who are who only have the perspective of their egos and the linear time frames the de deterministic reality of cause and effect of the ego from the ego's perspective when you live in the spirit well life does become miraculous it becomes godlike it becomes empowered self-empowered so when you when your spirit once your spirit understands the underlying reality of spirit then it's just learning the correct techniques and the processes to acquire what seem to those trapped within the harmonic universe number one is superhuman abilities and the path to super normal abilities it is my firm belief and this is based on methodical study and personal experience that the path to all spiritual powers is through learning stillness through going within through meditation and learning to be the the calm in the storm the eye of the storm learning stillness is accomplished through meditation and deep prayer and is the path to spiritual development so it is mainly persons people who are starting to understand their true nature who begin to exhibit amazing abilities but the danger is, is to not get sidetracked on using these powers and abilities since they can entrance one into focusing on these activities and on building your ego because unraveling the ego unraveling the ego is the goal of stillness practices while rebuilding the ego will ruin the will ruin the spiritual development of the seeker and set them back many years learning superhuman abilities can also be an aid to spiritual development if used properly and in the days ahead in the video uh, information disseminations in the days ahead from here the Omban the new earth ashram for compassion and strength and superhuman godlike spiritual abilities that's what we will discuss continuing to dissolve the ego because as we dissolve the left brain fact fact based ego we dissolve the matrix of, that holds us all back as we see through the illusion of the five senses and this is not to take away from our physical reality it's just meant to transcend it put it in its place because most people that's all they know and that's all they think that they're supposed to know so there's a higher there's a deeper reality there's a deeper wave that leads us to the ocean of god consciousness and that's what we're going to investigate here in the days in the days ahead stay tuned folks namaste namaskaram